Hey Slappy, say hello. All right, good job. <laughs> Welcome to part 11 of the Super Base project. From the beginning, I've been saying that it's one of the most experimental and craziest projects that I've done, and I haven't even gotten to some of the crazy stuff yet. One thing coming up, a little mishap, but I end up fixing it. So a little drama in this, in this uh, project. So anyways, enjoy the video. Clear coat number one, dry and ready to be sanded. And at this point, I'm gonna wet sand with the 320 where the pinstripe goes. But I have to be really careful because I don't wanna burn through the red. The sanding blocks or the sponges I'm gonna use just lightly for the blue areas. Right now, I'm really about halfway through this paint job. I still have a lot of clear coat to go on there, a lot of sanding, and then there's a lot of buffing. I would say at least three to four, maybe even five layers of clear before I start to get it where it's going to be that mere finish and there's no transition between one coat and the other. This is coat number two and it's dry. I've had it dry now for a good week. Still fighting time. The weather is still holding up so that's good. Today's a good temperature to get outside and get the, uh, the third coat on but first I have to sand this. So you can still see a little texture. And like I said, there's still a lot more work with uh, after the clear coat with polishing and, and fine grit sandpaper. I brought this one back into the, the mix. That's an older sponge. And the reason why I like this one, it's, it's older because it's nice and pliable. And I actually washed it so it's nice and clean so it doesn't get any bad marks on the white here. Uh, I'm using that for in the areas where it's the contours. Because I was finding that these brand new ones that I bought were just a little too harsh, especially on the edges. Uh, but they are great for all these flat surfaces. Mmm, paint fumes. This is a uh, third coat of clear. It's wet right now. It's just hanging up here. I just brought it back in from my outside spray booth. Weather is, you know, a big factor right now. So I think possibly, maybe, uh, tomorrow I may put another coat on this. I'm playing it by ear though. So at this point, uh, I'm happy and we'll see what happens tomorrow. Yeah, it's cool. This is the day after coat number three of the clear coat. The shine is coming out a lot more now. You can still see that outline where the red is. It's just a matter of building up the clear coat to a smooth finish. That texture it will disappear in the end because what I'll do is I'm going to wet sand this and, and buff it up. So that's not I'm not concerned with that at all. I think today what I'm going to do is just basically give this a very light sand just to get another coat on there. Just finished coat number four and we are just starting to see the results that or I'm just starting to see the results that I'm looking for no transition from one coat to the next it's looking sharp I'm not trying to get a mere finish right right out of the can that'll come later when I uh, block sand Rubbing compound, all that stuff is yet to come. So that's what I meant earlier or before when I said, before I started clear coating it, we're only halfway and you can see there's a lot of work yet, but a little patience it starts to pay off. So uh, tomorrow is November 18th, which is uh, normally a very cold time of year here. And the weather's going to be like 18 degrees. I'm not sure what that is in Fahrenheit, but plenty warm enough to uh, do some painting. I knew that was coming. That was my next window of opportunity and it's probably my last. So, which is okay. Five coats, I'm pretty sure is going to do it. But anyway, what I'm doing right now is kind of prepping for that. And I'm just going over the body with 600 grit sandpaper. And uh, we'll be ready tomorrow for the last clear on here. 
cool. It's really looking nice. Man, I could not have been luckier or timed my painting days better. I think luck was really the most thing that was on my side. Every day that I could, I was out there painting. I didn't waste any time. I didn't let a good day go by. Still work to do on it yet, like sanding and, and polishing. Buff this out so it's a mere finish. Uh, yesterday was 18 degrees, a perfect day to be out there clear coating. Today they're calling for snow flurries, like 5 to 10 centimeters. So we're done with the good weather. I was extremely lucky that it was 18 degrees in November so I could go out and clear coat this. Because originally I wasn't going to touch this body, I was going to leave it the way it was. I wasn't going to do a paint job, but then late summer, early fall, I decided, yeah, let's strip this thing and do a custom flame job. A tough job, a time-consuming job with all the colors, all that taping, and five coats of clear. I did it. I got it done. I'm not going to uh, buff this out just yet. I have some work to do on this project. I have some holes to drill in the body yet, just minor ones. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it settle down, let it cure a lot, and then sand and buff, and it's going to turn out a lot better. Yeah, I'm pretty pleased and pretty happy. And by the way, I've never mentioned what I'm going to do in the pickup cavities here. I know it looks really messy and crappy. That's going to be taken care of. I'm going to use shielding paint. It's not really going to shield anything, but since I'm going to be using shielding paint back here and everything, I'm just going to black out inside and neaten it up later. That was my intention from the beginning. That's always been an eyesore. I've always meant to mention that, but yeah, it's going to look cool. You enjoying the water there, Slappy? Yeah, you like that, right? Oh, careful. Uh, don't step in poop. Come on, buddy. <laughs> 